Welcome to our next session, Theme and Code Trends. Uh, I'd like to welcome our next speaker. This is Andrew. Uh, hi, Andrew. <laughs> Andrew is an insights specialist here uh, in the content team. And having worked in insights for some of Australia's top grocery manufacturers, and also spending years working as a digital media professional in the audio industry, Andrew is actually well-placed to research industry trends and demand trends for content being licensed on Envato's marketplaces. Today, Andrew is going to be sharing some of the most popular search trends and in-demand content types for both Theme Forest and Code Canyon. We won't have time for questions, unfortunately, at the end of Andrew's presentation. However, Andrew will be available to take any questions during the live Q&A at the end of the day. So please ensure you make a note that your question is for Andrew when posting it there. All right, Andrew, over to you. All right, thank you very much, James. Um, hello, everyone. It's uh, great to be able to speak to you guys today. Uh, as James said, my name is Andrew Hobson. I'm the Content Insights Specialist here at Invato. Um, a large portion of my days are spent looking at all of our internal search and sales data, as well as looking at trends externally, in order to ensure that our marketplaces contain the types of content that our customers want. Uh, from time to time, we do see this results in the creation of new categories of products. However, we often see and can identify in-demand trends relating to specific industries and niches that get applied effectively and creatively within our existing category offerings. And it's always such a highlight of my job to be able to see the creative ways that authors do create these new products. I'd like to spend some time today to discuss what some of these key demand trends are that we are seeing from customers in the web and code space. These trends are really, really important for you guys to ensure that you're spending your time developing content that your customers do want. Uh, these are trends that we've identified from either rapidly increasing search terms relating to specific topics, or alternatively, you know, we're seeing a whole group of items within specific niches that tend to be selling really, really well. Uh, by no means is this an exhaustive list. I'm not here saying these are the only things that you should be trying to create. Uh, however, I'm really hoping that they'll be helpful for you to all keep in mind and draw some inspiration from as you're thinking around the types of items that you'd like to create next. So I'm going to touch on three key areas today. Uh, we're going to briefly have a look at the major way people search for items on both Theme Forest and on Code Canyon as this could be important and influence how you tag and promote your items. Um, also going to have a look at what are some of the key search terms that are in demand. And then a little bit broader, have a look at some common themes around popular and trending types of items at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna split those last two sections into uh, specific terms for Theme Forest and for Code Canyon. Uh, but it's really important to keep in mind that a lot of these trends are relevant and can be applicable across both of these sites. For example, you may have a website based on a particular industry that could be delivered on ThemeForest as a static HTML site or a WordPress site, uh, or it could even be delivered via PHP, and you might find that on Code Canyon as well. So before we jump into the demand trends and demand areas across Theme Forest and Code Canyon, I'd like to talk a little bit around how people search for content on our shop fronts. In this instance, I'm not talking about the user flow that a customer may follow. So for example, what filters or what facets they might click on to refine their search. Instead, I wanted to talk a little bit about the language that we see our customers using when searching for content. This can be really helpful for you guys to keep in mind when you're thinking about content, what types of items to create, but also really importantly, how to market them. So when customers are searching for content on our shop fronts, they obviously can use thousands upon thousands of different search terms to try and find the items that they're looking for. We find that this language is generally broadly classified into about 15 major ways that people search for content. Uh, the major classifications that we see for Theme Forest and Code Canyon, and there are four of them, uh, there are people who search for particular industries or particular niches. For example, people might search for real estate or they might use the search term construction when they're looking for a web theme. This is the most popular way that people search for content on Theme Forest. Uh, we also see that people are often searching for content that is made with a particular technology or suitable or, um, or um, works with 
certain software platforms. For example, people may specify that they want a WordPress template or they may want an item that was created with PHP or Flutter. Uh, we also have content that is related to social media platforms sitting within this technology and platform space as well. Uh, people may also be looking for particular features that they want to incorporate into their own projects or their own websites. Uh, these can be features such as a point of sale system or a booking system or a dashboard. Uh, and we also find, and this is quite unique within Theme Forest and Code Canyon, that we get a really large proportion of people searching in very specific and targeted ways. And by this, we mean people searching for a particular author or a particular item. Uh, James spoke previously in the last session around the importance of building your audience, and this is evidenced here. We often have people coming looking for these authors. So these search classifications are really important to keep in mind when you're creating your item tags. I think ensuring that your tags adequately describe your item's features, technologies, or industries whenever relevant really helps ensure that your products are being discovered by the customers who actually want to find them. So I'd like to spend a little bit of time now and focus on Theme Forest in particular. Um, we have seen that you know, the key way people are searching for items on Theme Forest is by either searching for an industry or by searching for particular features. I'd like to highlight what some of those top terms are for you. Now, we know that industry-related searches play such an important role on web and code shop fronts. So what are the top industries? We've got five of them listed here, real estate, technology, business and services, fashion and beauty, and health and medical. So over the last, last year, these five industries have experienced the most search sessions on Theme Forest. While they tend to be very, very broad industries, they're not only popular at the moment, but they tend to be consistently in demand. It's really important to inspire invest some time to research these industries and see if there are specific niches or business trends within them that might be gaining popularity as a great way to ensure that your products are both unique, on trend and in demand. Uh, for example, uh, we see within health and medical at the moment, there's a really rapid increase in demand for themes relating to Ayurvedic medicine. So, this is a system of medicine, which has been gaining also a lot of popularity on Google Trends over the past few years. And Google Trends is really a great way to kind of validate any assumptions or hypotheses that you might have around particular niches that might be currently in demand. Uh, within business and services industry, we see that business coaches is in demand quite a bit at the moment as well, just as skincare is for fashion and beauty. Uh, I don't want to dwell on this slide for too long because you'll be able to go back and have a look at this uh, presentation again afterwards. However, I wanted to outline what some of those key niches are within these broader industries for you. So the terms that you can see here are terms that may be receiving a lot of search sessions uh, on Theme Forest. The amount of search sessions may have grown quite significantly over the last year or they may have been trending over the last few months as well. So certainly should provide some uh, inspiration around some trending niches within those industries at this point in time. So as well as searching by industry, um, if people on Theme Forest aren't searching by industry, they're generally searching for a particular feature that they would like to ensure is included within a theme or within an item. Uh, and we can see the top five here, admin, dashboard, e-commerce, video, and music. Um, admin and dashboard have always been popular search terms. Uh, they seem to be increasing in popularity at the moment. We're seeing more and more customers are looking to either purchase fully functioning SaaS apps that have got dashboard functionality included in them, or they may be looking for the dashboard functionality standalone so that they can incorporate that into their latest project. Uh, these type of items tend to perform really, really well on Theme Forest within the HTML site templates category. Uh, while the other three terms we have here, e-commerce, video, and music, are universally in demand across Theme Forest. Uh, and as before, in order to provide some additional inspiration, I've included some associated terms that you can go back and review here for each of these features. Uh, as you can see, when you start to dig a little bit deeper under these, technology often plays a really important role. We see things like 
Bootstrap or HTML or, or Laravel or React popping up time and time again. So what else is in demand? I guess when I'm analyzing our search data, I look at what sort of terms have been trending and I'll often see that there's a lot of really similar terms all closely related to a particular theme or trend. And I sort of find that when you sort of group all of these together, they almost identify mega trends, if you will. Um, I wanted to briefly share three of those with you today. Um, so the first one I'd like to mention is the gig economy. We're seeing lots of terms relating to the gig economy. Uh, the gig economy has obviously seen the rise of huge companies like Uber, Airbnb, Freelancer, and we have visits from many potential customers who want to create the next big service for the gig economy. And they're coming to Envato for the tools to help them do it. Common search terms that we can see around this area are things like food delivery, freelancer, ride sharing, food order, delivery app, holiday rental, things like this. We've got really popular solutions for some of these within both WordPress templates, HTML templates, and again, also on Code Canyon within the PHP category there. Esports is the next major mega trend I wanted to touch on. Esports has been a really popular trend across almost every content type that we sell on Envato. The industry itself has been going from strength to strength, and as such, we've been finding that teams and Envato, uh, teams and individuals have been coming to Envato to buy the content that they need to create their own websites and promote themselves online. Popular themes uh, that we have in this space allow players to incorporate extensive and specialised functionality, things like featuring up and coming tournaments and matches, allowing people to join these tournaments, um, announcing and broadcasting their game streams, as well as simple e-commerce things like selling their team's merchandise. Uh, and also media streaming. So this has been another trend we've been seeing quite an increase in demand for recently. Uh, we mentioned on the previous slide, video and music are key uh, features that people are searching for. And this starts to extend a little bit more when we look at some specific search terms here. So obviously video streaming and media and music streaming, as well as IPTV, even Netflix. Uh, this is a trend we've seen in demand for quite some time, but no doubt has increased over the last few months as we're seeing more and more people in the, around the world are confined to their homes. Media consumption has increased and is no doubt on the forefront of the minds of all of our customers. So technology searches, they don't play as an important role on ThemeForest as they do in Code Canyon, but there's been one area of technology related searches that has been getting a lot of focus and a lot of ten attention on ThemeForest recently. And, that is page builders. I'm not going to dwell on them for too long, but I just wanted to really quickly highlight the top five most common page builders that people search for content for across Theme Forest. You can see clearly here, Elementor is head and shoulders above the rest. Uh, they've been going from strength to strength in the industry lately, and this is a trend that we're definitely seeing on our site. Searches are in demand for, um, for Elementor, and on average, uh, themes that are optimised for Elementor sell four times more frequently than WordPress themes that aren't. Uh, this is one of the many reasons we're really excited about the launch of the Template Skit category uh, next month, I believe, which are obviously all template kits focused around the Elementor page builder. Okay, I'm gonna move on to Code Canyon now and have a look at some of the specific trends that we've been seeing there. It is worth keeping in mind again, however, that while these terms have come out of Code Canyon, they are very much uh, related and can be applied to Theme Forest in many instances as well. From a sales perspective, Code Canyon has been performing really, really well over the last 12 months. And there's been a few categories that have just been driving that head and shoulders above the rest, namely mobile and PHP. Within these categories, the types of content that have been in demand and performing well are full applications and SaaS tools. Within mobile, we're seeing a lot of sales growth coming from pull, the full applications subcategory for both iOS and Android. And within PHP, it is coming from categories such as project management tools, social networking, and SaaS platforms. Uh, if you recall from the start of this presentation, searches relating to particular technologies or platforms are fairly important on Code Canyon. Around one quarter of all search sessions uh, coming through to Code Canyon are people searching for particular technologies or software platforms. From a 
From a technology standpoint, PHP frameworks and cross-platform developmental tools have been really popular in the last year. And three of the terms out of the top five here relate to that. So obviously Laravel, Flutter, and React. Uh, social media platforms, we also include within this tech and platform search categorization. And we can see Instagram and Facebook here. So these have been very popular. Um, I'm sure it's not a big surprise, but they are really popular search terms across all of our content types and all of our shop fronts. Just like for Theme Forest, I really wanted to give you all some additional inspiration um, for content related to some of these tech top technology and platform search terms on Code Canyon. You'll be able to review this again at a later date. However, we can see for social media, there's a lot of terms relating to automation, uh, quizzes and games, while technologies focus a lot on e-commerce and CRM solutions. Uh, while technology-related searches are important, searches for particular features uh, that people would like to incorporate into a project are key. So approximately 40% of all sessions on Code Canyon are people looking for a particular feature. Uh, we can see the top five here, CRM, e-commerce, point of sale, uh, chat, as well as booking. And when you pair these with technologies, it really can be an evergreen area of demand. People are always looking for these type of features in the newest and most relevant technologies. And this becomes apparent when we drill down a little bit and have a look at some of these other related search terms for these technologies. We can see technology really does play an important role. So what are some mega trends that we've seen for Code Canyon? Uh, so I'm gonna share three of those with you today as well. Um, content being developed using a cross-platform framework. So We've spoken today about the growth of the mobile category and how it's been performing so well on Code Canyon. So it's not surprising that we're seeing a lot of demand in this area. Flutter uh, is far and away the technology that's driving this demand. Uh, in recent months, this has been the number one search term on Code Canyon and it's showing no signs of slowing down. However, we are also seeing demand for things like React, Ionic, and even Unity as well. Uh, we've also spoken about a lot of growth coming from PHP, uh, in particular SaaS items within PHP. And we're seeing two PHP frameworks that are being searched for a lot. They are Laravel and CodeIgniter. These frameworks are being searched in conjunction with features that people want to incorporate into projects. So things like chat, dashboards, and even learning management systems. Uh, finally, uh, as we've been seeing across all of our content types and shop fronts, Social media has been in high demand. Within the code space, this has predominantly been searches relating to tools that make social media marketing more efficient. So looking for products to help with automation, as well as incorporating your various social media feeds onto websites. And of course, there's always customers who are looking for a turnkey social media app so that they can launch the next big platform. I hope this has provided you all with some inspiration around some of the key areas that we're seeing growth. Um, and I really hope that they translate to strong selling opportunities for you all. Remember, if you're ever struggling for inspiration in this space, it's always a good idea to come back to this, refer to some of those big evergreen constant areas of demand, be it the key industries or the key product features and search our site, see if people are already creating items and providing them to customers that are utilizing some of the newest, most recent and in-demand and relevant technologies. And if they're not, well, then you may have just found a really good little niche and a good opportunity for selling there. I'd like to thank you all very much. Um, I'm obviously not doing Q&A at the moment, but I will be around for the live Q&A in a few hours time.